What up, Heart Squad, and welcome, welcome, welcome to what is the rarest pack opening in the entire world. You're looking at a first edition base set box, and the one, the only, heavy first edition base set pack with a chance to not only pull that Charizard again, but what I'm looking to pull for this video, the man himself, a first edition Blastoise that could be worth $20,000. But I'm not just opening up this pack today, guys. I will also be opening up some of the other rarest packs in the world, an EX Deoxys pack, Aquapolis, Neo Destiny, two EX Emerald, first edition jungle, and it wouldn't be a vintage Leanheart opening without some Team Rocket packs. Now, Gotta say, you may have seen the last time I opened up a pack like this. We did pull the rarest, the Holy Grail of Pokemon cards, a first edition Charizard, and it was sent off to grading. And as you saw probably about two weeks ago, it got lost in the mail. It's been lost for over a month now, but I promise you I'm trying to be optimistic that it will be found because there has been tons and tons of delays in the mail system right now. And I promise you I've done everything I can to try to find it and I will keep y'all updated. But just in case you missed out on the previous time when polling it. No way. Yeah, it was quite the party and the video went viral and it was just an amazing time because what I'm doing, why I am opening up these packs is because we are on the hashtag road to a million where this community, the Heart Squad, you and I, we are close to reaching 1 million subscribers that are part of this community, should be hitting in hopefully about two months or less. And I have to say, thank y'all so much for allowing me to open up not only these packs, but the other packs that we've been opening up. This is called The Road to a Million because it's all about appreciating the journey, appreciating what we have, being grateful for what we have. And what I have here is an absolutely amazing community. And I want to keep on going absolutely as big as I can go to providing the top entertainment for y'all, whether it be for Pokemon cards or just being a genuinely amazing, happy place to come to. That's what it's all about. And I thank y'all so much. So if you can, please, please consider subscribing to this channel by hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, and if you can to help support the video all I ask is all I ask is if you hit the thumbs up button let's get this video to 20,000 likes now I know I know I have some of my finest attire on this time I am wearing my not too original stitch shirt compared to my squirtle one and I know you're probably saying you shouldn't have washed the other one but I did and I'm not wearing it specifically because not too is one of my favorite Pokemon other than squirtle and we have to change it up just a bit but the jacket is the same and yes I may be wearing shorts party on the bottom right now so business up top party on the bottom and I believe that is it we got some packs to open up today uh we will we'll be opening this up later on more on that pack later i will just show you for when i hit 1 million subscribers you see that box it's filled with more first edition heavy packs and they will be opened when we hit a million so i hope y'all please please join the community so first pack up today is an EX Deoxys pack. And for people that don't know about this set, there is a card called a Gold Star card, specifically the Rayquaza one. And you'll know if I pull it because I'll be screaming really, really loud. That card, PSA 10, goes for around $20,000. Yes, I have pulled it before, but I technically don't count it because someone named Lootbox, another creator who's awesome and kind, he pulled it technically, so I need to pull it. But I will be opening this up right now. Packs like this specific one, go for. And this is, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is also a heavy pack because like I said, they go for around seven to $800 a pack of EX Deoxys Heavy. So if I'm gonna risk it, I'm gonna make sure there's at least a chance at getting a Gold Star Pokemon card there are two other gold stars in EX Deoxys, Latios and Latias, and that will be equally as awesome if we can pull that, but the Rayquaza is the number one that you wanna get. So there are only nine cards in EX Deoxys, 
and you want to take two cards instead of three, which will be for the other packs or some of them. And you really just got to take this all in. I did open up a ton of EX Deoxys and EX Team Rocket packs uh, two days ago. That video will be right over here. And if you missed out on the full Charizard opening, that will be in the description below. And this opening begins. Plusol. I like how Minon is in the background. There probably is a card, and hopefully we can pull it so we can compare the two. Oh, I completely forgot to say. I, I thought I remembered everything. I have these lovely sleeves, which are the same from the previous one. I used them for my big openings, and I am hoping this becomes another big opening. And more will be talked about the first edition heavy pack that we'll be opening up in this video. Very nice coffee feet. Coughing. Swablu. The Pooch, Hoochiana, Wormpool, not the biggest fan of bug Pokemon. Oh, very nice. EX Deoxys Reverse Holographic Master Ball. That is just a uncommon, and I am hoping that we can use said Master Ball to catch a gold star. And a Monetric EX. Wow, what an amazing looking holographic card, or I guess I should specifically say ultra rare holographic card. That's very nice. A Manectric EX. Centering looks good on the front. Unfortunately, on the back, the centering is more from the right to the left. So the first pull of the day is a very shiny and bright Manectric EX. Hopefully I didn't say GX earlier. Those are for the newest set. Or excuse me, I guess the semi. Or it was the newest set. All right, all right. Let's get a move on. I know we're going big here. This is from the E series set back in 2002 or 3. This also has nine additional cards in it and includes crystal Pokemon cards. Now, if you saw that Charizard video where I pulled the first edition base at Charizard, we did pull a crystal Nidoking from an Aquapolis pack. And I'm hoping we can pull the main crystal. That would be a crystal Lugia. But we're starting off with a very interesting looking Charmander card. I don't think I've opened up uh, this Monday's video, I opened up 10 of these Aquapolis packs, which go for around four to $500 each, and got some nice pulls in that video. It will be in the eye if you want to go check it out. This whole week has just been about going absolutely big for the hashtag road to a million. So I really, really do hope y'all stick around. Weakness guard. And I need to do a good job of just making sure everything is in order over here. But uh, like I said, I did pull a Crystal Nidoking. I did had sent that with the Charizard. So Crystal Nidoking is also missing. I really like the Psyduck card a lot. Like the artwork for it is fantastic. Hopefully it is found because I truly believe the Crystal Nidoking is an absolute PSA 10. There is a Ponyta. Okay. There's creepy Mr. Mime. <laughs> Next up is a spinner rack. We have pulled this guy several times. I believe this exact card is also in EX Deoxys. So I think we pulled it in the other video from the other day. Next up is Drowsy doing what he does best and that's sit in trees. So Drowsy sitting in a tree for this one. Would the crystal be after this if it was there? And then Pharos reverse rare holographic. Not too bad. That's a fantastic reverse to get, and especially with it being rare. And the actual rare is a non-holographic vile plume. So I will still take this as a win as we took a look at centering looks perfecto. So I will take it. So the I'll take it as a win partially because of this guy. Uh, cool artwork, but even cooler that it's in like perfect gem mint condition. So there was that. Next up, we have Neo Destiny with a chance to pull Shining Pokemon. I've already pulled a Shining Charizard this year and a Shining Mewtwo about three weeks ago. And uh, I got the Shining Mewtwo graded by Beckett in a video last week. Came back a gem mint grade. Uh, now we're on to three cards, I believe. 
And so, very, very happy. Here we got a dark wiggly tough who's like, Hey, you, come here, come here. He's like in the mafia or something. S uh, light slow bro. And just another fun fact, the Neo Destiny is the only set that has light Pokemon in it. So I think that's pretty cool. Very uh, cool light Arcanine card in this set. I believe there's also a light Ninetales. And then there's Remoraid. It's just kind of creepy, and I'm going to move on from that card. There's Growlithe. Not a light Growlithe or anything, but it's cute. Unknown. L for Lucky. Or L for Leonhardt. We're going to get Lucky today. I know we are. Larvitar. Cyndaquil. AOL Windows 95 Mail from Bill. Slugma on Mustafar. And... A light Machamp non-holographic. Cool card, but it is non-holographic nonetheless. Alrighty then, what do we got next? EX Emerald with a very cool EX Deoxys on it, or just Deoxys, excuse me. And the card you want to pull from this set is a Milotic EX. Card goes for hundreds of dollars, ungraded, thousands, greatest. Uh, two cards, so we are now back to just nine cards. I have not opened up this set too often. Now, in the video from two days ago, which is in the eye if you want to go check it out after this, I did open up several EX Emerald packs. Got some pretty, really cool um, uh, reverse holographics, so I'm very fortunate for that. So, Swablu, Pissed Off Shroomish, Cacnea, Spoink, Gulpin, and that's what I'm talking about. These EX series sets have such incredible looking logos on the reverse holographics like this Gulpin. Very cool, so happy about that. It's just the common, but it's still cool because it's reverse, and those are actually worth something. And Seviper non-holographic. Now I'm getting a little worried here. Obviously, all of these packs are unweighed, minus the uh, EX Deoxys and the first edition heavy pack. However, as we get into the next Rayquaza pack art one, uh, I want to pull something, maybe just a little, you know, warm up before we get to the first edition pack. But nonetheless, this is just exciting to be opening up these packs for y'all. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this so far. And just a reminder, please do hit the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 20,000 likes. So we got a Barry, Professor Birch, nice uh, beard. There's the Thieves, Ball Toy, Makuhita. I just love saying Makuhita Makuhita so many times in a row. Electrike. I'm not really sure what is that? It's not Claymation, I don't think. Maybe it's. Windows 2003 graphics, Larvitar, oh, and a fantastic EX Reverse Rare Rayquaza. I think that was in a Rayquaza pack art. Perfect. Now the pools are heating up and we're back to none with the Relicam. But over here, look at that. That's just a frankly awesome looking card. Centering is perfect on the back. I don't see too much whitening. It may have just been dust like usual. This goes in the Team Rocket sleeve. Very, very nice. I believe we have three more packs to get through. I will show you the pulls so far. We got this lovely card, the Ampharos from Aquapolis in a Manectric EX from EX Deoxys. Next up, I'm gonna switch and go with a Team Rocket pack. It's only $3.99. Actually, it was from a store called Ames that was, I believe, in the Northeast, y'all were telling me from a previous video, and uh, is not around anymore, unfortunately, but they did uh, sell Pokemon cards at one point, and they were only $3.99. Ooh, ah. All right, so cards we want to pull for Team Rocket, guys, obviously, any holographic that says dark in the first part of it, I will take. I will also take a common Squirtle card because that's one of my favorite Squirtle cards. Actually, technically, it is my favorite Squirtle card. So I want to pull it. Almost thought that was it, but it's just a lovely magic card. Slowpoke, Dark Radicate, Mankey, Voltorb, Diglett, Sleep. Squirtle! I was getting so nervous! 
It's not a Squirtle. You need it to be earlier. But nonetheless, I'll take it and I'll be very happy about it. So a Squirtle and the rare is a Dark Charizard. How about that? A Dark Charizard right by a Squirtle. Best card in the set right there. Guys, thumbs up for Dark Charizard. Centering is perfect on the front. Back, it's just a tad off from left up there to right, but it's not too, too bad. No scratches, no lightning. That is En Fuego, a Dark Charizard holographic card. That makes me really happy. I mean, it's the best. I would have taken Dark Blastoise, Dark Dragonite, but the best card, a Charizard? Is it a premonition? Is it a premonition? It may be. All right, so next up is Jungle. And I want to pull a first edition Jolteon. I would like to. Tax for this go for around $300 each. The Team Rocket ones, I believe. I didn't say the, the prices for all of them. Sorry about that. Um, Team Rockets are now up there between $50 to $80 each. Uh, but this is cool because just like the base set one we're about to open, they have the first edition stamp by it. And I've opened several of these uh, this year, like or like a lot of them. Um, so there's plenty of videos in my vintage Pokemon card playlist, which is on the front page of my channel. If you want to go see Sky Ridge openings, Aquapolis openings, other first edition pack openings, and there will be more to come on this hashtag road to a million. Cubone. Oddish. Mankey. Is this the rare? A Wigglytuff non-holographic. In a Wigglytuff, it was in a wig, where's the pack? I don't even know where the pack is. Oh, here it is. Wigglytuff, in a Wigglytuff pack. Still worth something, so I'll take it. First edition Wigglytuff, we are almost there, guys. I'm gonna just put this in the back, just to get that ready. And here we go, our Farnal pack, a Team Rocket Pack. Imagine if we can get another Charizard. Even a non-holo would be cool. I've done that before this year, but I want another one. Or Blastoise, that would be cool. Here we go. Whew, I'm getting, I don't know about y'all, but uh, the last time I opened up a first edition pack, my hands were just sweating. It was crazy. And it's not worth it, by the way, to wear gloves. It makes it much more difficult to open up the pack and go through the cards. Just, you know, I clean my hands very well before this, because I take showers sometimes. And I am ready for that pack as soon as we get done with this. Can we get another Squirtle? It's a sign, Charmander. No. Machop and... Oh, a Dark Gyarados non hollow For a second, I was like, it's a Blastoise. All right, all right, guys. We are here. Let's see it. There it is. Now... We are absolutely just like the previous pack. Gonna slow roll it because when you're opening up a pack that is now worth $10,000 for 11 pieces of cardboard, you heard that right. This heavy pack is worth $10,000 and it's for my personal collection that I am opening up for y'all today. Obviously, there has been many issues with the platform as you've seen on my channel. They are still not fixed at the time of this recording and it has been affecting not only my channel but thousands of channels out there but i want to let everybody out know all the other creators i am here for y'all and i'm doing my best to be the best representative that i can be for y'all and hoping that the issues get fixed so i wanted to go big once again just like last month and open up a heavy first edition pack now the weight for this one is a bit different than the weight that was for the other pack that had the first edition Charizard on the inside. So I honestly have no idea what it, what can be in here. It could be a Hitmonchan. It could be a Blastoise, which is what I want to pull. A first edition holographic Blastoise or a Venusaur. If we can get one of the big three again, absolutely crazy big win. But that being said, there is likely a holographic card on the inside of this beautiful Blastoise pack. And here goes, Heart Squad. Wish me luck. Just getting ready. I'm gonna try to save the pack. Unlike the previous one, which got a little mangled. But here we go. Oh, 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 okay. There's a Squirtle on that side. That's fine. All right. So 
I will note this time, and I did say the previous video, I believe, but I didn't even notice when I was doing it. So it's three cards. And this card better be- oh, I'm shaking, no. <laughs> this card better be one of the big three. But if not, I'm still gonna be extremely happy because it's a holographic. Hopefully, hopefully. But here we go. First edition heavy pack. For the Guess the Energy, it's different. For this one, the energies are different compared to a regular base set pack. First edition, that's just how it is. That's just the way it is. So first edition stamp, base set pack opening. I thank y'all for joining me today. Let's pull another Charizard, Blastoise, or Venusaur. Pokédex. Now, one of the cards that I really want to get because we didn't get it in the first pack is a first edition Pikachu card. If we can get that, that would be a massive win. Nidorino. Oh, the, the highly sought after Magikarp. Oh my gosh, there we go. A Squirtle first edition card. I gotta be careful. I'm like partially shaking here and I don't want the holographic or any of the cards to fall out. Squirtle, oh a fire energy. Now that's a sign. Oh man, I didn't even put a call in for what holographic I think we're gonna get. I guess I'll say it, first edition Blastoise, that's my call. Y'all at home, please, 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 put a call in for what in the comment section below right now so it can be etched in stone. What holographic card you think I'll pull? It is a Pikachu Yellow Cheeks! There we go! Okay, okay. I will take a closer look at this later, but for now, we have to be very, very careful because a beautiful holo could be at the very back of this pack. And I say could be because even though it should be a heavy pack, never know with packs. Bulbasaur, now we just need a Charmander and we'll be good to go. All right. Drowsy, this time he's not sitting in a tree. Energy! I think there may be one more card after this, but get ready! Okay. I'm guessing after this Onyx, Destiny has arrived. Here we go. A... Enchanted Holographic! That is by far one of the absolute best hollows that you can pull! A first edition! Chancy Holographic has been pulled! Oh my gosh, we have to be very careful with this one. First edition Chansey Holographics go for an absolute ton of money. I would go ahead and say, besides the big three, this is one of the most highly sought after first edition holographic base set cards. Now, 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 we have to just slowly take a look at this. Centering looks almost perfect from right to left, but for the most part, no whitening, no scratches, and the centering looks pretty much almost perfect. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A first edition Chansey has been Hold, putting this in a sleeve right away as I'm still shaking. A first edition Chansey. Now let's take a look really quick at the first edition Pikachu centering. Looks perfect for the front and perfect for the back. Oh my gosh, what an absolute win getting a Chansey and a first edition Pikachu in the same first edition heavy pack. These will be graded on this channel. We'll make predictions. We'll go to the Beckett uh, grading place for PSA, whichever I choose, and we'll go from there. Heart Squad and anybody else watching, I hope you enjoyed today's video so much. More to come, I promise you that. In the meantime, see those videos, click on them right now, enjoy them, and I hope you have an amazing weekend. My name is Lean Hart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.